it is Wednesday morning. Walking over to my Denison Farm sign. Because that is where my rain gauge is. We got what looks to be about 1.6 inches. 1.5, 1.6, we'll call it 1.6. So that is the rain total that we got for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. The three rains. Or the three, yeah. Duh, the three days worth of that low pressure spinning around. And it's amazing because, like my buddy John that lives 15 miles south, he had well over three. I mean, it was just, but that's what happens when you get those funky, spinny, low pressures, so. But that's 1.5 inches or 1.6 inches that we didn't have, so I'm good with it. It is the 24th of uh, August, so, well, without looking at my book, what did I say in a previous video? We only had six tenths or 0.65 up until this rain, so, so basically now we're a little over 2, 2.2, 2.3, somewhere in there, so we're still going into the last week of August a good inch and a half below what we normally would be, but that might turn out to be a crop saver right there. All right, mad moose. They made that, by the way. Get ready for the dogs to bark. Salem and Scout, two Great Danes. So when you come in, you come to this area, you ring the bell so that they can come out. Yes, 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 Salem. Yes, how are you? All right, is Derek on his best behavior? Hi, buddy. Trying to be. Okay. Trying to be. Well, is this live? Yes, it is. Well, it's not live. I'm not doing a live stream. I'm just recording. Uh -huh. So this is something that they're making. Scout, what's up? Say hello to everybody. Scout's like, no, I'm not gonna. It's like you, my you did though, didn't you, Salem? Yeah, you did. Oh, look at you with the thing in your mouth. All right, so the main reason for coming over here and filming is so Derek doesn't get phone calls at 11 o'clock at night from people telling him he loves him, that they love him. You want me to throw that? You gotta let go of it. And no, you don't. So, yeah, I gotta sniff you for a while. So anyways, when you people go to the Grumpy Farmer apparel site, I guess we can call it, which Look, we have Grumpy Farmer and, and Jimmy. More Grumpy Farmer stuff right there. Whoops, sorry, Scout. All right, so when you're scrolling down through things and you get to the bottom and you come to their phone number, the phone number to text them, the email, and the address, that's yeah. all that's there, right? Yeah. That is theirs, Derek yeah, and Kathy's for Mad Moves. Oh, and yours too, Scout. So when you've had a few toddies at 11 o'clock at night and you decide to call the phone number and start rambling about how you love me and then you love them and you don't understand why they're not open at 11 o'clock at night because Grumpy probably would be working. Um, no, not this time of year. At 11 o'clock at night, I'm sitting on the couch watching the 11 o'clock news before I go to bed. Look at you, pawing at me to throw it, but you won't let go of it. So just keep that in mind that all of that information is theirs so you're not getting a hold of me so just be kind of respectful don't be like the one guy who what was it an email yeah yeah the one guy who left an email because their website went down what was that last week yeah one day for a couple hours and somebody got all pissed off Shit happens i'm sure you've lost your internet for a few hours and stuff like that so Let's just keep that in mind. When you contact that information, it is them guys here at Mad Moose, not me. So and this is where all the stickers get made and whatnot. 
Don't ask. I don't know anything about this. So if anybody ever wants an like in-depth video of how they do stuff, let me know and maybe we'll do that. All right, back to the shop. So for some of you that maybe haven't seen this back in this video but of Mad Moose from a time ago, I had them make me that 4x8 wavy flag that I put on the shop door here. So, like I said, they make a lot of cool shit. You can call them and have them make stuff for you on t-shirts if you own a business or you want shirts made with your logos, give them a call. I showed this in the last video there, Angleside Farm, Steve Ash out in Michigan, when he was getting his, figuring out what to make for his farm sticker, he uh, contacted me and I said, well, just call Mad Moose for the hell of it. So he did. And he wound up getting 50 stickers from them because it was a better deal than him getting them from a place near him in Michigan. So. But, and in today's world, you got to shop where you can shop, you know. So, just something I wanted to bring up, going back to the whole, my video on the supply chain sucking and whatnot. Okay, there's my Kinsey corn planter. I've had, I don't know, this is my second Kinsey. Don't ask, I don't know how many years I've had Kinsey. This one's maybe my fifth year using it so i don't know how many years i had the other one whatever i suck at dates and my memory sucks too so but i was just talking with my buddy jeffrey mo who's the one happy farmer on youtube so check him out you know he's my alter ego he's the one happy farmer i'm the grumpy farmer but he has kinsey planners and he was looking into a new kinsey planner for next year and they told him the earliest he could get one would be 2024. It's August 2022 right now, folks. So, uh, you know, like I said in that video, I mean, our supply chain is, we got issues in this country. And if anybody thinks it's gonna get better before it gets worse, yeah, I don't think so. I mean, not with the direction that those supposedly leading this country are pushing us. So not going to turn this into a whole rant about the supply chain again, but I just thought that was kind of a, the fact that Jeff and I were talking about it and he brought that up that, you know, 2024 is what he was looking at. So that's, that's crazy. That's part of what I said. And I think it was the last video. I don't remember again, memory about, you know, in this business it's getting to the point you, you got to be working on shit over a year ahead of time now in order to get anything as far as like new equipment or anything like that so and then you throw in like i've bitched before about the whole supply chain and price increases with the you know parts and all that oh by the way so my whole chicken wing rant i didn't mean it to be you know something horrible but some people took it that way. People who, you know, are in the business of selling chicken wings at restaurants and stuff like that. I get it. Your costs have gone up too. The oil you're cooking them in, you know, if they come in a basket with that little piece of paper under them, I'm sure that paper's more expensive and all that. I'm just saying the fact that when they, if somebody says that, you know, oh, chicken wings have gone up dramatically, no, chicken wings have gone back down a decent amount. So. So if they used to be $9.99, $10.99, maybe they should be $12.99 now or something because of your added cost. But for those that took them up to $15.99, well, and they're still there, I don't know. But we all got to make a living. It's called capitalism. It's a whole lot better than socialism or communism, that's for sure. So, and the sun is shining, which is great after getting 1.6 inches of rain. So probably another week, maybe. I think I'll go back to the same fields that I looked at before, plus maybe go to a few other ones, just maybe dedicate a whole video to that, because it'll be kind of neat to go back. I mean, I may not go back to the exact place I was standing, because, you know, I didn't mark it on GPS, so. But it'll be neat to compare what the corn and beans in that general area looks like 
compared to what they did a week or so ago when I did that video, now that we've had some rain. They do show not a huge chance, but a chance on Friday. And other than that, nothing till like the middle of next week. But as long as we're done with the 90 bullshit, which it does look like we are, they're showing upper 70s to low to mid 80s for the next 10 days. That will help too. The, the 90s were a little much for the corn when we didn't have any moisture. All right, I'm in the house. It's lunchtime. The wife's making lunch. This big box showed up from Michael Brash, East Central Illinois. There, I said it. Sent me a nice little note. Whoops, I'll get with it here. He does woodworking stuff. And then he sent me all these neat little, you know, there's a neat little John Deere tractor on tracks. A four-wheeler, a lawnmower. We'll put that down there. He just had to get this color in because he's Mr. Kubota, even though that's not Kubota colors, Michael. But we'll put that there. John Deere truck. So now I gotta hang that up in the shop somewhere. I'm not sure about the metal spiky wheel in the center though, Michael. But I screwed it into the hole that you made. I don't know, you'll have to explain that to me. But that's pretty cool. So, we thank you. Alright, for now, Michael, it's going out here in the shop right there on top of the beer fridge. And now I know what that is. That's an old steel corn plate out of a corn planter. And that's old, because today's shit is all plastic. You know, you got the air seeders, but, but you got the finger pickup planters like mine. They don't have those kind of corn plates in them anymore, for sure. So, very cool, Michael. Thank you, Michael Brash and Sally Joe. I don't want to forget Sally Joe. So, Barb said, we don't have room in the house for it in the house. Well, maybe, but... If Barb said no, then Barb said no. So, will it stay there? I don't know. But it's there now. So, anyways, projects today. I'm not walking over there, so I'll just zoom in and I'm sure you can kind of see. Oh, you son of a bitch and zoom button. My mother's driveway is dark looking because it got edged and resealed by an outfit that is here right now. As you can see by the big tank here, it's all the flakes are off. They've taped things off. This bad boy is being painted white again. As you can see by the bean bin back here. And I think they did a hell of a good job. They painted the entire bin, not just the roof, because if you remember in previous videos, I said, yeah, boy, the roof on that's getting rusty. And you can't see, obviously. And I ain't climbing up that son of a bitch. But the roof on the wet bin has been painted. These older bins are a different kind of material than the newer ones, so the, the newer ones don't really, I'm not saying they'll never rust, because they obviously will, but it ain't like these, the older stuff. The newer stuff is that, Galvalume, or I don't know what it's called. But before this gets painted, we are waiting because as you can see, the sky, it was just thundering. There was just a storm to the north of us that passed. I actually got four tenths of an inch again last night, which was good. Yay. About 11 o'clock, it <coughs> started thundering and lightning. By the time I got up this morning, I had four tenths. Yeah, so I was listening to it thunder and lightning while I was laying on the couch reading comments from the previous videos. <sighs> you fucking libtards are special. Some of your comments, you know. Oh my god. You'd think us farmers were just the evil of the earth, some of you, and it's just whatever. I mean, and then you dumbasses that everything's Trump's fault and everything Biden's doing is so great. Yeah, because, you know. 
fucking gas being double what it was. That's great. Now we're going to give relief to all the federal student loans. Yeah. Don't even get me started on that because my kid just started college and we co-signed for a private student loan because she didn't qualify for one federal. So nothing like buying votes there. Sleepy Joe, you pudding head piece of shit. But so I'll bring you back when the white tank is painted because you've now seen the bins. They look good. And we'll see what we're doing here. It's like two, 220. We're kind of, he needs about an hour and a half and we need a good half an hour afterwards for the paint to be dry enough where it wouldn't bother with rain. So we're kind of watching the radar and you know, listening to it thunder in the distance. And it's kind of like watching Democrats in Congress. Oh, and some rhinos trying to accomplish something. Well, it's probably a good thing that they waited because as you can hear by what's coming down on my roof and see the truck, it's raining. So we're holding out here to see if then this one passes. On the radar, it looks like another hour, maybe hour and a half, and the rest of the day is golden right through dark. But So anyways, I'm going to show you this. Painting and staining, free estimates. They do houses, fence, decks, you name it. Pete Riley, South Carolina. I'll hold it there for a few seconds so you can see it. And they also do driveway ceiling. And now it's coming down pretty good. But I know what some of you are going to say. Oh, it's those fly-by-night southerners. Look, they're up in New York. This guy travels, he's going to Kentucky after this. And the reason why he comes up here, and I wish I had found him years ago, because I got his name and number through some friends of mine that got a dairy and crop farm three, four miles south of me here. They just had their dairy barn painted by this guy. He comes up here, he's got tons of regular customers. And he paints for them every year. And then he picks up jobs like this from you know, hearsay and, and, oh, this person knows this person. So they told him, Hey, I got a guy that could, you know, do that painting. That's what these guys did. They sent me the number and said, Hey, you know, I know you were looking to get bins painted this guy can do them. So, but like I said, he, he says he travels all over the country. He doesn't really go to the West coast, but sorry, people on the West coast, but who wants to go to, well, not all of you, California. I mean, who wants to go to California? I know there's good people in California, but you got that real shitbag of a governor. But we should talk here, right, New York? Yeah, we thought we got rid of Cuomo, we'd be better off, and then we got Hochul from hell. But anyways, he goes to PA, he goes all over. So you want something painted? You want a driveway sealed? You got bins, you got a barn, you got a house, whatever. So... I ain't getting paid to do this, and he didn't drop any money off the bill, so I'm just saying, I have no problem with pushing something out there that I think is quality. Now, yeah, he's not done with that tank yet, but I got faith that that's going to look good. And if it looks like shit when he's done, I'll tell you, because I'll be telling him, so. But the bins look real good, and my mother's driveway looks real good. All right, it's quarter to one. I'm hungry. It's lunchtime, and I got stuck having to mow Grandma's lawn because... Chelsea's in college. That part sucks. They put a little more seal, coat sealing on the end of the driveway because he wasn't happy and I thought it needed it. So these guys, I was impressed with these guys. But here's my tank. And Hydra's tank is done. He found a bee's nest up there and pissed them off, so I ain't getting very close. He did a little more on the roof up there because we got six tenths of an inch rain in that storm yesterday. It was kind of a piss pounder. It came down in less than, I don't know, 45 minutes. So it was a it was dry, but it was a little streaky and he was like, nope, I'm gonna redo a few spots. Yes, I moved that because I didn't want that getting all white. But, so I think it looks good. I mean, you're putting lipstick on a pig, so, you know, those of you that want to say, 
Oh, you can see the little, you know, few pity spots or whatever. It's a fucking old railroad car tank with the anhydrous tank inside it. That's just a shell, so slow your roll a little, okay? I think it looks damn awesome. He said it'll last eight years. They'll be here every year because they're, they're up here every year. If there's places that need patching up or patching up painting up a little bit he says they'll do it for free so but i think it looks 1000 percent better oh you i don't know well you can see and i'm not going to zoom in but yeah the bees up there yeah i won't be going up there for a while because i'm a widget but i think the outside of the bin looks good the roof you know they taped off this junction box here probably wouldn't have really mattered if they had painted over it it's a plastic box but you know obviously the conduit and whatnot on the bottom but hey it looks good so i showed you his card they travel all over the country basically except for you know west coast so remember that west coasters but and give them a call i mean so I'm going to end this video long enough. Nothing more to put on it. And I don't want videos to be super long. I think we're up to 16,000 subscribers now. So thank you. That's more than I ever figured I'd get. I try with the comments. So if I don't always get you, I might get you in the next one. Those of you who are following me on Instagram now too. Some of you got to ease up a little with the, the direct messages there. I do have other things I have to do during the day than just, you know, chat back and forth with you. I enjoy it, but, you know, it gets a little, you know what I mean. So, I'm going to eat lunch now.